Welcome to Electro Online, where we already know that for a three-phase system to be balanced, all source voltages must have the same magnitude and they must be exactly 120 degrees out of phase with one another. There must be 120 degree phase difference. But for a system, the complete system, the source and the load to be balanced as a totality, we must also have the loads balanced. With other words, to have a balanced system, the loads must be balanced. And therefore, all three impedances must be exactly the same. No matter if it's a Y or a delta connection, it makes no difference. The impedances must all be exactly the same. And so just for the purpose of illustration, we just wrote out some examples. It doesn't matter what they are as long as they're identical. So for example, if you're going to build a three-phase motor, it makes sense that all windings are exactly the same, the same length, the same type of wire, everything exactly the same in such a way that the real imaginary parts are identical for every one of the loads, the load impedances. So in this case, you can see they're all identically the same. In this case, they're all identically the same. That doesn't matter what they are. Now, typically, the load impedances are inductive in nature. They're not capacitive in nature. So sometimes, in order to balance things out a little bit, we put some capacitance on the line in order to balance things out a little bit more. But we'll talk about that later. But in order for the system itself to be balanced, we must make sure that the impedances are exactly the same on all three of the loads on a three-phase system. And so it's a simple example, but it's a very important concept. That's a good way to illustrate it. And that's how it's done.